Hello everyone. Welcome back to this short tutorial from Pathology Made Simple at ilopathology.com. This is in continuation with the neoplasia you know, topic series for undergraduate medical students. This is the part 11 of uh, neoplasia series and in this part I will be discussing about the grading and staging of cancer. So the next 10 to 15 minutes we will see what grading and staging means we will look into various types of grading and we will understand this by some examples so what are these grading and staging so grading and staging are basically you know they are the methods or parameters which are used to quantify the probable clinical aggressiveness of a given neoplasm which means to say that whether the given neoplasm you know behaves uh, aggressively or not that is what we will understand by knowing the grading and staging of cancer so basically they are used to evaluate the level of severity of cancer grading is based on the degree of differentiation of the tumor cells differentiation basically means how close the tumor cells resembles to that of a normal tissue right so grade is actually a measure of how abnormal the cancer cells look under the microscope right so in contrast staging is based on the size of the primary lesion and its spread so it is a measure of how large the tumor is and how far this tumor has spread Okay, so now you have understood the basic difference between grade and stage, right? So grade is basically how abnormal the cancer cell look under the microscope, whereas stage is basically how large the tumor is and how far this has spread. Now there are different categories of grades and stage. Grading is basically indicated by the letter G, which is followed by a number or quantified as either low grade or high grade. If it is followed by a number, it is g1 to g4 g1 g2 g3 and g4 whereas the most common staging system uses tnm system which we'll be discussing in great detail now this is way back in 1920 you know this article from broaders he devised a method to grade a squ grade squamous cell carcinomas into you know four different grades so based on that most of more or less most of the tumors you know they are categorized into these uh, grades grade one grade two grade three and grade four grade one means they are well differentiated tumors which means the tumor cells look like normal tissue cells you know that is why they are low grade tumors the grade 3 are poorly differentiated tumor where most of the cells look abnormal and they are of high grade tumors so those tumors in between these two grades are called as moderately differentiated tumor the tumor cells somewhat look abnormal and they are intermediate grade categories whereas grade 4 is called undifferentiated tumor and most of the cells almost all the cells are abnormal they are highly anaplastic cells and this is the highest grade right so grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 grade 1 is lower grade and grade 4 is the highest grade of tumor this is an example of squamous cell carcinoma this is a well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma you can make out that it resembles to that of a normal squamous cells in the in that you know it is showing these evidence of keratinization this is these are squamous pearls so this is what you see in well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma only few of these uh, squamous pearls are seen in moderately differentiated carcinoma in poorly differentiated carcinoma you don't see any of those whereas in undifferentiated carcinoma it is actually difficult to make out that this has a squamous cell origin right these are undifferentiated tumors what we need to understand is that grading you know it can be different for different carcinomas what i have uh, explained you is for these squamous cell carcinomas so grading can also be three tiered we talked about g1 to g4 right they're four tiered it can be three tiered or two tiered three tiered means you know it is just well differentiated moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated whereas two tiered means you know it's very simple low grade and high grade tumors okay but what is important is as the grade increases the tumor tends to grow and spread faster that is very important but you know the grading can be subjective not only that it can vary in different areas of the same tumor so that is the reason why staging is of greater value than grading in predicting the course of tumors okay now let's see what staging is we know that staging is based on the size of the primary lesion and its spread right it is basically a measure of how large the tumor is and how far it has spread see most of the solid tumors they are staged into five broad categories 
which includes stage 0 stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 stage 0 they are not invasive cancers they are carcinoma in situ whereas stage 1 are the ones which are early stage we have very small and localized cancers stage, stage 2 is slightly larger and extended to the nearby places stage 3 is much larger than the stage 2 and extended to nearby places and to lymph nodes as well whereas stage 4 is the advanced stage in which the tumor has spread into other parts of the body now what helps in staging now how do we actually stage how do clinicians stage these neoplasms based on various parameters like you know based on the uh, physical examination findings based on the laboratory investigations could be routine your blood investigations or serum investigations based on the radiological examinations could be as simple as x-rays or ultrasound examinations or it can be ct scan or even pet scan positron emission tomography scans or finally it can also be uh, you know uh, these biopsies can also help in staging of tumors the biopsies can be incisional biopsy or the whole tumor can be excised when it is called excision biopsies now what do we mean by tnm classification this this is a classification which was developed by american joint committee on cancer it is also known as ajcc staging system which helps in describing the cancer in great detail TNM T stands for you know it describes the original or primary tumor T for tumor you no know, it, it describes the size and extent of the tumor whereas N stands for nodes so it describes the spread of cancer to nearby nodes M stands for metastasis so basically it describes metastasis or spread into spread into distant organs or distant sites so there are different categories of staging so i'll just explain you only two different two such uh, categories one is clinical staging another is pathological staging so whatever i have told you till now is clinical staging where you know we uh, take the help of physical examination laboratory investigations radiological examinations and uh, incisional biopsy whereas pathological staging includes all these as well as the complete pathological findings of the excised tumor so once the tumor is excised completely the pathologist will go through will will study the entire tumor in great detail and that is also included and this gives more precise information than the clinical staging right so this is this this is a basic difference between clinical and pathological stage let us understand staging of cervical cancer so this is stage one where the cancer is confined just to the cervix and stage two you know this disease is involved in the cervix as well as it is extended beyond the cervix but it is not to the lower third of vagina it's not extended too much beyond the upper two thirds of the vagina nor it is extended into the pelvic wall this is stage 2 whereas stage 3 is the disease is extended into the pelvis as well as into the lower third of vagina whereas stage 4 as i told you it has invaded into the distant organs it can it has inv invaded the you know the rectum the bladder and even the intestines even it can include distant metastasis to abdominal organs like liver and spleen so that is stage 4 now why do we need to know these stages what what staging conveys to the clinicians so basically we should know that as the stage increases the five-year survival rate drastically decreases look at this stage one cancers the five-year survival rate is around 86 percent whereas stage four cancers the five-year survival is seven percent so that is the importance of staging of cancers now we understood the concept of grading and staging right so grading means how abnormal the cells look under the microscope g1 g2 g3 g4 well differentiated moderately poorly and undifferentiated or it can be as simple as low grade and high grade staging basically is tnm staging right so that completes this topic if you have liked this video hit the like button do comment don't forget to subscribe do share if you find this video helpful and keep waiting for the next tutorial where i'll be discussing about the various uh, aspects of lab diagnosis of cancer thank you